Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I the rumpled one. Many problems. One solution. Got a copy of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the U.S. of A. Pocket size. And I'm in the process of reading the book Currency Wars, which of course I'll do a book review or two. And I think I might even do like I did with the uh, 48 Laws of Power. I might go through it on a chapter by chapter basis. But we've got many problems here, USA. We got these economic problems, most of which were created by the people in. Washington, D.C. and Wall Street, the bankers, the insiders, our elected officials. We have social problems. We know we have them. We have the problems of just trying to survive. Just getting by. We have the problems of our freedom being so restricted that it's like a noose around our neck or a jackboot on top of us. We all feel it. We all know it. We have the problems of these people making decisions that we the people don't really want, such as Obamacare. I mean, I think it's, what, three out of four people don't want it if it's not higher? Yet, it gets crammed down our throat. So, our forefathers, even though they had their flaws, they had some good ideas. They understood certain things. They understood the nature of man. And what men are capable of doing, what men in power are capable of doing. They also understood what the answer or solution was to these problems. And you see here, if you read the Second Amendment, it starts out, a well-regulated militia. Let's just stop right there. A well-regulated militia. Now, back in the 1700s, what did that mean? Think about it for a second ponder it. You see, back then, the guy had his, his land and there was a call to arms. He went in, got his musket, maybe had the cannon out in the front yard, and he reported to uh, the sergeant, possibly, or whoever the, the commander of that militia was. And the militia, they drilled, they practiced. They were the people. You see, a well-regulated militia. And you see, we don't have that right now in the United States of America. And you see, if we had a well-regulated militia, or well-regulated militias all throughout the country, a lot of these ills that we're experiencing wouldn't exist. For example, if neighborhoods had a well-regulated militia, I don't think we'd have problems of gangs, drugs, crack houses, meth labs. You see, things like that, the, the well-regulated militia, once it found out about it, will put a stop to it. It's that simple. See, these, these types of problems wouldn't exist. And you see, part of being a well-regulated militia is a well-trained militia, not just on how to shoot your weapon, but your body. You'd be in physical shape. You'd also be in mental shape. You would discuss things. You would be in the know. You wouldn't be ignorant. You would spend time learning. Because that's part of being a well-regulated militia. You see, we wouldn't have the problem of obesity. Not with the well-regulated militia, no. Wouldn't exist. You see, it's right there. First four words. A well-regulated militia. You see, once again, 
Just think about all the other ills. Do you think that those people we elect and send to Washington, D.C. would try and pull off Obamacare if they had to come back and face a well-regulated militia? I don't think so. Do you think they would pull some of the other stunts, like the insider trading, making laws that they put on us that they don't have to obey? Do you think they would come back to their respective states? I don't think so, because if they did, they'd have to face a well-regulated militia. They wouldn't want to do that, because they know what would happen. You see, the whole idea about this, you know, gun registration, gun confiscation, they wouldn't even ponder that if they had to come back and face a well-regulated militia. You see, the answer is here. It's right there. First four words. But that answer has escaped us for a couple of centuries, it seems like. Not one in the 21st century, and there wasn't one in the 20th century. Sure, we have Army, we have National Guard, we have Coast Guard, we got Border Patrol, but that's not the real intent of the well-regulated militia. See, the militia was the people. We the people. We are the militia. And once again, do you think that we would have to worry about border crossings if we had a well-regulated militia? No. No, not at all. Because that well-regulated militia would be standing at that border and saying, you ain't coming across. Do you think that we would have any problem that we have today? I'm sure there's some we may have, but most of the economic, social issues would cease to exist. Would we really fear a terrorist attacks if we had well-regulated militias? I don't think so. I don't think the terrorists would want to come into an area that there was a known well-regulated militia. So you see, my fellow Americans, once again, it's right here. That's the solution. So what we the people need to do is start forming these well-regulated militias starting in our own neighborhood and then it will spread out the word will spread it could go first it's the neighborhoods then it's the county then it's the state you see and then these states they link up with the other states and we we the people could be a well-regulated militia now of course there's some people have different views on certain things but I think the fundamental view that unites us all is that we want life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Your happiness might be different than mine, but so long as your happiness doesn't infringe or impinge upon mine, I'm all for it. So you see, my fellow Americans, it's real simple. A well-regulated militia, that will be the result when you wake up and smell the tyranny.